Hey there, good looking to stick around for this quick sweaty session using EMOM to get our heart rates up. Yes, every minute on the minute. Now, you don't need any tools unless you're a beginner or if being on your hands bothers the wrists or shoulders, then I would love for you to have a chair nearby or a bench so we can build the ground up for one of the moves. Now, if you're a beginner, don't fret. I have a modified screen that'll be in the right side of your screen showing the modified versions of every single movement so no matter where you are in your fitness journey you will find success in this workout all right lace up your runners let's go get busy Hello there and welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I have been a fitness instructor and personal trainer for almost three decades now, helping men and women over the age of 40 reclaim their health and get fitter and stronger. So hey, if that interests you, click that subscribe button. Let's keep this workout love fest going. Let's warm up. As we warm up, I'll talk about the workout because E-Mom might be new to you. And then, boom, baby, we're right into it. So let's start with a squat and a kick. So bum goes back and then come up and kick and touch the opposite toe to hand. So e simply means every minute on the minute we switch up. We have three different moves to perform in the one minute. All you need to remember is the rep count six. So you have six reps of those three three moves. The faster you get it done, the longer you get a rest because when the next minute comes up, we do that again. We have 10 rounds of that, but then we're done. And then I want you to stay to the end because I have an awesome little ab finisher for us. Now, beginners, you're going to use your chair or if being weight bearing on the wrists bother the wrists or shoulders, then you're going to use a chair as well. And like I said, you can count to six reps or you know what? You can also just change reps when I change reps up to you. If you don't feel like counting, I totally get it. One more each leg. Beautiful. Now just pick one side. Give me a side lunge. Get the lateral side of the hip. If you're able to, that opposite hand reaches and touches the toes. Now a couple of things here. You want to stay square to me. One leg is straight. Bum is pushing back and we're hinging from the hip. Perfect. Four more. Last one. Other side. Last two, one more. Leg swings for hamstrings and glutes and kick up and back, good. If you've got something to hold on to like I do, go for it. If not, you can definitely try to balance on the one leg, but we're swinging the leg, trying to get it up and then pushing it back, not overarching your low back. Last three, two, one other side. So once again, all you need to do are count six reps or if you don't feel like counting, just change when I do. We have three moves, like I said, we do those three moves in that one minute and then rest when the timer goes for minute two, we do those three moves again and we do that 10 rounds. Last three, two, one jumping jack, take it up, high impact, low impact, good job, land soft if you're doing the high impact version, 10 more seconds, last three, two, one. All right, grab a little sip of water if you need to wet your whistle. Here are the movements, we have six burpees, all right, you can do a low impact version as well by stepping out or elevated with your hands on a bench or chair, followed by six lunges and then six traveling frog jumps. That's one and that's two. Let's give it a try. We'll try round one, okay? So start with burpees. Ready, go for six. Hands on ground or elevate them to make it easier on the shoulders six of them six 
six lunges. Each leg is one rep. Modified version, you'll see in the screen there, I'm not bending that back knee very much. <sighs> Traveling frog jumps, feet wide, toes turned out, fingertips to ground, jump forward for one, and back for two. Modified, I'm not traveling. I'm lifting off the heels. When you're done, march it out. That's the way it goes. In 10 seconds, we do it again. Woo. So again, feel free to modify any time. You ready? Six burpees, go. Bend your knees to get down there, not your back. Feet apart, helps out. So don't have the feet together. Six lunges when you're done. You can bend that back knee as much as it feels comfortable for the knee joint. Frog drums, travel or heel lift. Good. When you're done, march it out. Whew. So again, the faster you get it done, the longer break you have. But the more energy you're putting out, right? To get it done quick. So it's kind of a trade-off. In 10 seconds, we're going into round three. In three, two, one, burpees. <laughs> Then lunges. Only six, one a leg. Frog jumps, feet wide, toes turned out. There's one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. March it out. So notice at the beginning, I never said we were doing burpees. I just said if weight bearing on your wrist bothered you, because I knew if I said burpees, you'd leave me. And I want to prove to you, you can do this. Woo! You ready? Set. Burpees, go. Again, count to six or switch up when I switch up. I'm moving into lunges now for six. Frog jumps, go wide, toes turned out. If you can, I want to get you those fingertips to your ground. March it out. And we're getting those fingertips down to the ground by bending the knees, not the back. Woo. March those feet out in between. If you need a sip of water, just take a little one. In less than 10 seconds, Whew, ten bur six burpees, sorry, not ten, oh my gosh. Go! I've got one more burpee. Moving into those lunges. Frog jumps, go wide. And march it out. Woo. We have, once we're done this, we pass the halfway. Don't worry, I got a timer keeping track for us because you know how I am. Woo. I get past one and I get confused. All right, in five seconds, six burpees. Ready? Go. I have one more burpee if you're with me. 
Lunges for six. Frog jumps for six. March it out. Heart rate up there? Mine is. Less than 10 seconds. Back to burpees. Ready, set, go. I have one more burpee if you're with me. And lunge it. Frog jumps, feet wide, knees track with the toes, toes are slightly turned out. March it out. Ooh, I was a little slower on that one. Get your breath, settle down a bit, use this rest. Last 10 seconds. Final three rounds. Ready? Go. I have one more burpee. Traveling frog jumps or frog heel lift. March it out when you're done. Woo, baby. We're so close. Yeah, I'm not talking much on this workout, am I? Yeah. No idle chit chat in this workout. Less than 10 seconds. Burpees coming in three, two, one, go. Last two rounds, come on. If you're with me, I'm on my sixth burpee. Now I'm lunging. Frog jumps. March it out. Whoa. We got one more. Come on, you guys. Ten more seconds, final round. So I want you to put your smiles on, turn up those turbo, turbo boosters in the feet, go. I know, easy for me to say. I don't do burpees a lot in my workouts, but when I do, I do. goodness. If I could come through this screen and give you a real high five, I would. Until then, many high fives. All right, keep marching it out, you. All right.
Whew, we'll bring the heart rates down a bit before we lie down for that ab finisher and then we're done. So if you're part of the 25 and 25 challenge, this is day 17 and we're taking it a little easy after the, well, I'm not sure you call what we just did easy. Never mind. We're keeping it short. How's that? All right. Because we just finished a couple of brutal strength workouts. <sighs> Grab water if you need it. Again, I only recommend sipping water during a workout. I don't like it sloshing around in my stomach, so you might be the same. Whew. So the EMOM is dead, it's done. We have five core moves, 40 seconds on the clock. Okay, and then we're done. Then we're done. Whew. Got to make sure it says 40 seconds. <laughs> All right, let's just do a toe, toe tap. Good job. So if you chose the modified versions, I absolutely love and adore you. Do not think that doing modified equals being lame. I've said this before in other workouts, lame is the 60% of the population not even exercising. That's lame, all right? You got rid of your excuses, you shook them off like the fighter that you are, got your runners on and you showed up. So if modifying a move so that you save your knees so you can work out again in the week, if that's what you gotta do, that ain't lame, that's smart. So listen to your body. This is a journey, whether you are 40, 50, 60, or above, and the journey remains consistent. So if we hurt ourselves, we cannot continue that journey. We're sidelined. So I want you to listen to your body, all right? Take the breathers when you need it. Take the modifications when the body wants them, and stay consistent with your workouts, because you, my friend, are a fighter. Last four, three, two, one more each time. Good job. Now, if you have the luxury of a heart rate monitor, I'm hoping that you're, you know, 110 beats or lower. I'm still at 109. <laughs> Burpees get me every time. But if you, you know, take a, take a pulse count as well, um, 15 seconds times by four, like I said, under 110 beats and below because we're still going to be training when we're on the mat. But if your heart rate is still up there, all right, it's up there like a hummingbird, then I want you to push pause on this and walk it around and allow yourself a little longer to cool down. Deal? Awesome. First ab exercise is a moving hollow hold. If you've been with me before, and a lot of you have, so thank you. Mwah. You know I hate this exercise, <laughs> but it is so good for your core. So this is what it looks like. We stay elevated, ears in between the arms, legs in what we call tabletop, and then we just move into a hollow hold and then back. So the hollow hold, you want to liken your body positioning like a banana. All right, I personally hate this exercise, but it is so good at targeting the stabilizers in our core. So the same, our um, deep core muscles, not necessarily stabilizers, sorry, our deep core muscles, same ones that we use when we do a plank. So <sighs> I gotta learn to love it. <sighs> Ready? <sighs> Legs up, head up. Now to modify this one, you can do a single leg, okay? Here we go. Now your arms and your head and shoulders stay elevated. If you're able to, we hold the feet out there for a breath and then pull it in. Modified, you'll see up above on the right side of your screen there. Only one leg. So this is where I gotta hold my head. It's my neck that gets tired. Are you with me? Hold your hand, hold your head with one hand then. I think it's because my brain's so big time. <laughs> so you know, it's a lot of weight for my neck. Legs are straight now, alternating V up. So that means we lift one leg up, see if we can clap underneath the leg and back down. If you're not able to clap underneath the leg, you're gonna tap one knee, okay? So you either tap a knee or lift all the way up. Leg stays fairly straight. If you're tapping the knee, you'll bend the knee 
Now everybody focus on an exhale as you lift. Oh, feel those abs? <laughs> yep. Now I'm taking mine slow time because I'm tired. <laughs> All right, bend the knees, feet flat on the ground for me. Extend only the left leg. All right, so just your left leg and it's hovering over the ground. Now, as the timer goes, we lift up, bring that left knee in to right elbow and back down. Single side bicycle. Now, if you want to increase the intensity, lift that right leg off the ground. Breathe out when you curl up. Give me a twist to get into the obliques. Time. All right, so let's start with the left foot on the ground. Extend that right leg, flex the foot for me. And that right leg's just a couple inches off your ground. We lift and twist, opposite knee to elbow. Exhale as we lift up. Good. And then if you feel, you know what, I want to up the ante a bit, lift that other leg up off the ground and keep it in tabletop position. Time, final ab exercise, plank. Now we can plank it from the knees. I'll be doing that in the modified screen or join me from the toes. Everyone on the forearms, elbows under shoulders, feet apart a bit and hold. Now we're not doing anything, we're not moving, we're just holding this static plank. If you want to increase the intensity, what you can do is try to pretend to pull the knees down towards the toes. Nope, that makes no sense. The elbows. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Get my body parts mixed up. So pulling the elbows towards the toes. This is our last ab exercise. You have less than 15 seconds and then we stretch. Time, whoo, all right, big toes together, open up the knees, sit the bum back, forehead to ground if you can, and just stretch out into your low back. If you have a hard time getting that forehead to your ground, see if you've got a pillow close by or a yoga block, something to lift your ground up and just let that forehead rest on it. It really does help if you're not having to use your neck muscles to keep the head off. I really want you to find something that you can just allow that head to rest on and then let the hips sit right back in towards your heels. And come into prone position. Arms extended, shoulder height. Lift the right leg up, bend the right knee, and bring the toe across, stretching into the hip here, this right side, and then into this left chest and pack. Really walk this right heel up towards the left hand to get more of a stretch into the hip. And back to center, arms line up again with the shoulders, lift your left leg first straight up and then bend the left knee and roll onto this right side of the body.
and back to center. Left fist rests under on the forehead and grab onto the right foot with the right hand, stretch into the quad. Release, other side. Release, press yourself up into downward dog. Feet apart, knees apart, hands slightly ahead of the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide and then grip your ground with your fingertips. That takes some of the pressure off the wrists. Straighten the legs and press the hips up. Let the ears float in between the biceps. Take a look, we want those feet in a straight line while we press the knees away from us. Couple more breaths here. Maybe you're pedaling the legs, letting one heel drop down while we lift the other heel up a little higher. This will get a little deeper into your calf. Now both heels to ground. Look up at the hands, step yourself forward, come into a standing position, and we did it! 10 rounds of burpees. You rock. Hey, listen, a few things before you leave. If you enjoyed the workout, we would love a thumbs up. Second, if you're part of the 25 and 25 challenge, hey, check in down below. I want to hear from you. And finally, if you've been to the workouts in the past, we would love for your support on Patreon. It is solely due to the people here on Patreon that we are able to keep these workouts going on YouTube. So please give it a click. Check us out and come join us in the community. It's a ton of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And I look forward to working with you next workout. Bye.